Danny, can you first off tell us why you wanted to tell this extraordinary story? Well, it's a, yeah, it's a, it's a fantastic opportunity to, movies are trances, they're kind of hypnotic. I mean, you know, I know that, I go into cinemas and kind of just enter the, believe the illusion and you laugh, you cry or whatever. And here's a film that's actually increasingly about a further state of trance as she, Rosario Dawson, takes James McAvoy's character deeper and deeper into trance. So that's a wonderful conceit for any filmmaker to have a go at, you know? Uh, it's a film built around three very strong main characters. Do you think it's fair to say the fourth character is London itself? And was that something intentional? Well, it's certainly, it's a more anonymous city than, say, when we used it in 28 Days Later, where we used a lot of the landmarks. Um, so it, it's almost like it could be any city. But for me, of course, I live here and the ability to be able to film here again, especially in the East End, yeah. is lovely. It's a city I love and I love trying to capture some of the wonder of it, you know? I spotted the Shoreditch cockroach in there as well at one point. Did you sort of throw that in on purpose? The what? The Shoreditch cockroach, the cockroach in Shoreditch that wears a baseball cap. Oh, a yes. Yes, 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 in our club. Very sharp, because it's on screen for a very little time, that, yeah. No, that was lovely in our club, yeah. And uh, speaking of London, of course, you were juggling the Olympics at the same time as you were doing this. How did that work, logistically? Well, it helped, actually, because the, the Olympics is like a two-year job, and it, there's so much, so many meetings, everything takes so long. You've got to try and make something, work on something. So we had the opportunity to, um, as a kind of, it's almost like our night job was to make, the day job was the Olympics, and the night job was where we could indulge our dark side and make trance, you know, so it was nice, actually. And, and they both helped each other by, you know, because of that. And speaking of great British events, um, of course, the next Bond movie's up for grabs. Sam Mendes is left. Is that something you'd be interested in? <laughs> I'm not the guy to make Bond movies. I love watching them, and I, like the books were a big part of my... As a teenager, I read those books cover to cover many times. Um, but I'm better working at a bit a lower budget, kind of slightly under the radar, and it gives you a lot more freedom, I think, personally. I mean, it makes it harder selling the movies. But, um, so thank you all for turning out here tonight, which is, all, is a big help. Um, but I'm better leaving that to other people, yeah. And is there anything else you are working on that you can tell us about, though? Yeah, we're working on a couple of, um, weirdly enough, period movies. Yeah, but, um, so quite what they're turning out, like, I can't tell you, because they're kind of like in the early stages at the moment. But yeah, that's what we're working on at the moment. Something a bit different for you. Can you tell us what, what periods they're setting? No, that would give it away. <laughs> that would be too much information.